The Israeli Ministry of Defense and Elbit Systems have successfully intercepted several UAVs using an airborne laser weapon during a test flight. The UAVs were intercepted at various ranges and flight altitudes. Israel's Defense Minister, Benny Gantz said, the laser system will add a new layer of protection at greater ranges and in facing a variety of threats, securing the state of Israel while saving the costs of interception. I am confident that Israel's defense industry will succeed in this important development program, and I will personally work together with the entire defense establishment to ensure its success. For the test series a high-power laser weapon system, HPLWS, was installed on an aircraft and tested in a number of scenarios. It successfully intercepted and destroyed all of the UAVs that were launched throughout the test at different altitudes and ranges. These tests were conducted in a testing field in the center of Israel, in close cooperation with the IF, Israeli Air Force. They are the first phase in a multi-year program led by Israel's Ministry of Defense, MOD, and Elbit Systems to develop a laser system against a variety of long-range threats. According to Elbit Systems, this method of airborne interception has many advantages, including a low cost per interception, the ability to effectively intercept long-range threats at high altitudes regardless of weather conditions, and the ability to defend large areas. General Manager of Elbit Systems Heister Oran Sabag, the trials were successful thanks to a range of technological assets. We believe that the use of a high-power laser to carry out low-cost airborne interception of rockets in hostile and manned aircraft, closer to their launching areas and away from population centers, offers a significant change in Israel's defense capabilities. Israeli state-run defense contractor, Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, announced a new family of electronic warfare system. Known as the Scorpius family of weapons, this revolutionary system does not send out missiles to disarm drones, ships, radar systems or other missiles, but rather it sends out focused beams that interfere with electromagnetic spectrums. It disrupts the operation of various systems, including radar, sensors, navigation and data communications, 